what's up guys welcome back next match cross balanced cup next match um, upper part left side so losers bracket the deck that loses this one today will be out of the tournament you know how it works so left side we have um uh, two decks that already lost their match in the top 16 slash top 8 so um well two kind of big decks big names that is uh, Chaos again doesn't need an introduction versus Grand Soil Psychics. The decklist from 2012, pretty much the same time age as Dino Rabbit Insector Swineups, right? Very similar post angle plan format. So, which deck has the advantage? You see here in the votes that people see Chaos over Grand Soil Psychics. I feel that, you know, you're seeing the decklist here Grand Soil Psychics uh, shines. Um, or at least the biggest strength of the deck is both Naturia Beast and uh, Bargion. Both these cards uh, kind of, um, you know, shut down an entire um, engine, I guess. Either spells and or traps, so that's powerful. Um, the thing is, this, though, is that Grand Soil Psychics is quite of a slow deck. Um, but Chaos, same for Chaos, right? But Chaos, again, has that slight advantage. Uh, that's uh, something we've seen before. It has access to those powerful band cards. So, immediately got information about the opponent's hand with, what was it, both Confiscation and Forceful Sentry? Uh, so that, that's that's free advantage, right? And uh, on top of that, you have Call of the Haunted for Dark Magician of Chaos. So I can immediately, you know, get my opponent under the Yata Lock. So Dark Magician of Chaos banishes the Serene Witch. Um, it's basically a recruiter when it's like... No, when it's like sent to the graveyard, I think it triggers. Or doesn't need to be destroyed. Uh, I forgot. Um, I think it needs to be destroyed, but not fully sure about that. But again, Demok just uh, destroys, well, 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 banishes the monster it destroys by battle. So again, still keep uh, the Yata Lock going and that free, uh, uh, well, those free pluses uh, from before off of something like Graceful Charity was superb, right? Uh, four sets, again, your opponent is not able to draw cards due to Yata and this, indeed, it's just a matter of time. Okay, your opponent will get like a thousand life points every time, but I believe uh, Witch's attack is like, is it 1400? I think so. Okay, so it's all cool. Game number two, um, again, a slow start for a Grand Soil Psychics, but that's how it is. You could, you know, back in those ages set stuff like Giant Red, um, the Psychic Witch to gain advantage next turn if your opponent recklessly attacks into it. But uh, Chaos has access to multiple DD Warrior Lady to immediately banish you, in this case, a Giant Red. Um, then again, this field is okay -ish. Um, I mean, you know how strong Naturia Beast is against the deck, against an old school deck that is like Chaos. Uh, I already used up a DD Warrior Lady, but I think I searched one before, right? Or was that no? That was this matchup, yeah. Um, off of Sengen, so um, the DD Warrior Lady was there to potentially get rid of the Naturia Beast, but be well, be as an early BL as that is, so that might come. Uh, you know, this might, that might, it could bite me uh, later in a duel, that early BLS, but I think I had to, right? Um, this is a problem. I was like, I don't think Grand Soil Psychics has access to Monster Reborn. And you know, you can just leave your Demok in the graveyard without the fear of getting Monster Reborn on your Demok. But, but you know, eventually I was like, oh, right, Grand Soil itself can reborn your opponent's monsters as well. But uh, luckily that uh, mass board wipe in the form of Dark Hole was still there. So did you really attack into the big defense uh, jumper? Not sure how many defense or at least how much defense jumper has. Um, so again, I have to play the waiting game. Luckily the call of the, um, uh, the Imperial Order does come into play. And I need to top deck. Call is, um, is a decent top deck because Envoy should be there. So that's definitely a strong top deck. And Imperial Order will keep me in the duel. Um, and face obviously just going to call, yeah, for BLS. And I think I don't have to fear any back row because that's something, you know, very specific for Grand Soil Psychics that the deck is not running any form of back row. Um, like maybe bluffing with that Miracle Fusion card, you know which one I mean. It's not Miracle Fusion, but ah, you know which one I mean. Um, degree, as you just saw, but again, those were in the side deck, right? So I, I don't think the deck is running any battle traps. Okay, so again, number three, Chaos Leading, that's all good. Um, the Car Trooper, Mill 3, I think. 
Um, and this is not a good position on my part. Like, um, the Crush card is not live, DD Warrior Lady is decent, but here in this case, um, Grand Soil Psychics is, um, you know, at least has the upper hand in full of advantage. Plus, this Pot of Everest is super early. Um, I guess you maybe want to draw into, like, hand traps or whatever, but still... Uh, you know that um, uh, Witch of the Black Forest can search basically any answer for Naturia Beast. Uh, it can search Tribe, I believe, Trap Infecting Virus, but uh, opt to go for a Scientist because of Crush Card. But again, on the other hand, Crush Card not that strong against, uh, you know, Psych... Well, it could hit, like, uh, Grand Soil, I guess. Um, but yeah, it, it's better than nothing, right? So again, okay, DD War Lady is cool, but I'm still behind. Okay, I can banish the recruiters, but I still sacrifice my normal summon for, in here in this case, DD War Lady. And I can't, you know, follow up uh, Raikeki. Here in this case, Raikeki is definitely going to help out. Yep, to again give myself some field presence in the form of DD War Lady. But um, again, as you see, DD War Lady is definitely going to get Dark Hold. Um, and I believe the Emperor, not sure, is it live? I think so, yeah. Which should be in the graveyard and DD War Lady is a light, is a, is a light. yeah. Um, here, I, well, where the other place? <sighs> I'm not sure, because I'm super low on life points. I'm under the Grand Mole Lock. Maybe, maybe, well, uh, I don't know, maybe I could have attacked you to, you know, the, the Grand Mole, the Grand Mole would have bounced. Then again, I'm really low on life points. Uh, you know, Reaper attacking. Maybe, you know, trying to hit the, the Grand Mole might be a safer play. But, I mean, we see both hands. So it's much easier than to, you know, um, to make decisions, right? But, uh, okay, Scapegoat keeps me in the duel. A painful choice. Some dead cards. Plus, obviously, I'm going to get the Sinister Serpent. On the other hand, there weren't, I think, any five cards that, you know, any, like, five broken cards that uh, doesn't matter which card my opponent would give. They will always be in a, in a terrible position. But here, the creatures, that creature swap, good old school days, main decking those stacked creature swaps to, you know, when your opponent is low on life points, normal summon a weak attack position monster. And then deal the last damage, right? Um, this, on the other hand, is, um, I was about to say much better. It is, it is. Uh, okay, the Tragodia is a bit, well, it's a small bummer, but um, uh, I was like, okay, I can just ring the Tragodia, right? But here is uh, the Gorse is dropped, and I was like, all right, Gorse is another effect that instead of summoning the token, in case of burn damage, um, your opponent will get the burn damage when, uh, what was it? The burn damage you took, your opponent will also get that same burn damage. And I was like, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> so... Yeah, it is what it is, 2-2, two, two. <laughs> there wasn't really anything I could do about it, but okay, it's going into a game number 5. Again, I can start, immediately blow my opponent away with Delinquent 2, and that's strong. Reaper again? Okay, that's cool. Um, the Naturia Beast? No, that, that's 3-3, three, three, so a problem... Oh, okay, no. Yeah, yeah, Psychic Commander gets rid of the um, yeah, Spirit Reaper indeed, because of, you know, the attack, and a Scientist definitely could top deck. Uh, immediately getting out the Thousand Ice District to get rid of Sandmane. Sandmane is definitely a strong card against a lot of old school decks because of, you know, it's it's self well, it's a um, protection effect. Um, stuff like Rageki Darkhold doesn't really do much against Sandmanes, right? So, end phase Call of the Hunter for Scientist again, coming in clutch. Scientist, I can put it into defense position now. Again, you know, just not want to take that much damage. And go for Baltar, you know Baltar when it destroys a monster by battle. That monster's effect will be negated. So that's strong. Uh, it's sitting, I think, at about 2k attack. So that's also quite decent. So this is a fairly decent position for Chaos. Um, and now we see the hand. Not that great for uh, Grand Soil Psychics on its own. Again, I can just attack into, into uh, Grand Mole and go from there. I tried to push for a game with uh, Kiko as well. Uh, you know, Kiko can banish up to two monsters. Um, the, the Dragodia is sneaky. But, um, I mean, was Gorse or... No, Gorse wasn't gone. Okay, so yeah. Obviously, I don't want to risk Gorse here in this case. Now, I can risk Gorse... Well, risk. I mean, I could potentially go for game here. Um, you know, because of potential tribe infecting virus. Uh, I could, you know, hit Gorse eventually during main phase 2. And yeah, the Tragodia is indeed forced to be dropped. Otherwise, it would have been GG well played. 
Uh, what's that? That's not, again, that threatening. A giant threat could be a pain in the ass, but... Again, Giant Red is forced to special summon something in, uh, you know, attack position. And uh, eventually I can just attack for a game. So, okay, going well, uh, back and forth. Uh, a quick game number four, something I, I haven't witnessed in years. Of course, during uh, this doing burn damage, but it is what it is. Um, so, next matchup, we have a biggie. A biggie. Left side, bottom left. We have uh, Spirals. So, uh, old school Spirals from 2017. It's going to take on Danger Thunder Guard Dragons. So, again, like always, feel free to leave your predictions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Beat them signing out. Peace.